Hello and welcome everyone to this video on creating and managing ALV reports by Zarentech. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our Zarentech YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update from us. Hey everyone, so today we are going to understand the concept of ALV reports. ALV reports are one of the most important concepts in AWAP programming and you can expect any questions in the interview from this concept. So before understanding the concept of ALV report, it is crucial for us to understand the concept of report. That means what is a report? So in SAP, we have ABAP as programming language which stands for Advanced Business Application Programming. So in SAP, ABAP is our the programming language and ABAP stands for Advanced Business Application Programming. So this is what ABAP is. Now what is a report? So SAP report is an executable program. So whenever anyone asks you a question, what is a report? What will you say? SAP report is an executable program that reads the information from the database and produces output based on the filter condition chosen from the end user. That is, SAP report is an executable program that reads the information from the database and produces output based on the filter credit filter criteria chosen from the end user. Now the question is, what is the need of an ALV report? Why cannot we why cannot we fulfill our need from the classical report? So let me explain this thing. We basically have two kinds of report in mainly we have two kinds of report. First one is classical report. And when you use classical report you basically display output using the right statement. What do you do? You basically display your output using the right statement. So let me show you a program so that the concept of classical and ALV report will become clear. I will simply go to SA38, the web editor, and I will create a program. Suppose classical report 01 is my program. I will click on create button and I will give a title. A classical report. Okay. Then I will choose type as executable and the package and transport request I will assign. Now simply I am taking a requirement. I will be taking input from the user on the selection screen and the user will provide us select sales document number via select option and I will display the details from the VVAK table. VVAK table if you go to SC11 you can see VVAK is our order header table and I want to display from this the details of this table via user input. So what I will do, I will create a type structure. I will simply create a type structure for this table and I will select some fields. Suppose I am have, have taking fields VBL and ERDAT, ERZDT, ERNUM and then VB type. So I will provide this, I will write like this VVLN type VVLN underscore VA which is the data element for VVLN then ERDAT type ERDAT oh sorry ERDAT type ERDAT then I will write ERZDT type ERZDT then I will write ERNUM type ERNUM then I will write VVTYP type VVTYPL which is basically the data element for our VVTYP field. Then I will end the type structure and after that I will create the what I will create? I will create the internal table LTVVAK type table of TY underscore VVAK and also I will create a work area VVAK type TY underscore VBAK. Now I have created the internal table and work area. After that, I will create a select option so that I can take input from the user. So how we will create the select option? We will have to create a variable LVVVLN type VVLN VA. That means I am creating a variable for VVLN field and I am providing its data element because data element consists the technical property of our field. Then I will create the select option for that variable. Select options. 
I will give the name as SBBLN and I will use for keyword then the variable name and I will activate it. So this is about our select option. Now I will write the start of selection event so that whenever I will press F8 on the selection screen, the rest of the code which is written in the start of selection will occur, will execute. I will write the select query here, select VVLN, ERDAT, ERZDT, ERNUM, VVTYP, from VVAK into table LT underscore VVAK where VVLN in S underscore VVLN. So this is our right, so this is our select query which will return some data in this internal table. Now we have some data in this internal table. So what I will do, I will use the loop statement. Loop at LT underscore VBAK into, sorry, into LS underscore VBAK. I will write this end loop. Now I will use write statement because this is our classical report. So I will use the write statement to display it. I will use write lsvbak and the field names vvln vvln here we will use the slash statement so that after each iteration of the loop the line of our program will change so I'll write lsvbak erdat then okay lsvbak erzdt lsvbak erNum lsvbak bbtyp I will activate now I will execute this program I will take input from 1 to 20 okay just a real, see this so this is our basically output this is our sales document number vbln then the creation date erdt then we have erzdt as the time then we have ERNUM that is created by field and then at last we have our sales document category. Now this is our classical report. So that now we can easily understand the concept of LV report and we will understand how it differs from our classical report. Look at this classical report. It is simple a classical representation of data which we are showing after fetching it from BVAK table and see the same data in the form of ALV report. It totally differs from our classical report and we can see it is more attractive and it has more functionality comparing with it the classical report. So what is the ALV report? ALV report provides more flexibility, sorting, filtering, interactive features so that why it is preferred more comparing to classical report. So that is the why the reason, this is the main reason we prefer ALV report as compared to classical report. So this has become the main reason. Now how can we create an ALV report? Few, moment, few minutes ago I have shown you how we can create a classical report. Now I want to show you how we can create an ALV report. So first we will understand the concept how we will create the ALV report. So for creating an ALV report we need to perform two things we need to write or two things the first one is we need to do is create a field catalog firstly we will create a field catalog then we will bind our data with the field catalog what we have to do we will simply create a field catalog at the first position then we will bind our data with the field catalog so that our, and then after it will automatically display our data then how we will create a field catalog before knowing how we can create a field catalog we need to understand that what is a field catalog and what is the need of it so field catalog are basically used to they decide how the heading of our column will look like see this in the heading of this particular vbl and we have sales document number then we have creation date time but if you will see in the classical report there is nothing at the top that is no heading for our any column so this is the one of the most important feature that we call it field catalog. So the format of ALV output is specified in the field catalog. That is the out format 
of our LV output is defined in the field catalog. It has the details about the fields, columns that will be shown, including field names, descriptions, data types, and formatting choices. Now, the associated type structure for the field catalog is field slice field catalog ALV. That is slice field cat ALV. We will use this structure for writing our logic. So I'll simply copy this program so that I can show you how we can create a ALV report. Just I will go to the web editor ready SC38 transaction code and I will copy this program. I will click on this copy button. Then I will write it as ALV ALV underscore report 01. I will click on copy copy button i will assign the package and transport request now i'll open it in change mode and i will simply delete this loop because we are not going to use the classical ready write statement to display our output just a few minutes ago i told you that for creating a alv report we need to firstly create a field catalog and field catalog which will create sorry the field catalog will contain the details of our ALV output. And the structure associated with the field catalog is list field cat ALV. So I will simply create an internal table and work area for the field catalog. Data LT field cat type table of list list field cat underscore alv and then we have ls field cat type slice field cat underscore alv so this is our internal table and work area now what i will do i will simply write the name of our heading of for each and every column that is since we have five column for these five fields so i will write the name heading for each field here so, I will start writing ls field cat. I will use its field as field name. We can see we have a field name here. I will give first field name as sales document number for BVL. Sales document number. Then I will use the field name so that the field catalog can understand that for which field. Sorry, the field name will be VBLN. And then we have a, another another field for it, which is known as cell text. We can see cell text L. I will assign as sales document number. Now sales document number will be shown on the heading of VBLN. Append LS field get to LTX field get. This will be our first row in the field catalog. And I will clear the work here. I will simply copy this particular section of code and will paste it five times so that I can write for each and every column. It's okay. The next for the next I will write ERDAT. I will write here as creation date, creation date. Then I will write time as ERZDT and for it I will write time. Then for ERNUM I will write as created by. It will show me the name of the user created by. And at last, I will write for maybe TYP. That is document category. This is document category. I will write name as document. Now, I have created the field catalog. I will check the error. There is no error. I will click on activate button. So, I have created this field catalog. That is first step has been completed. And the second step is that we need to bind the data with the field catalog. Now, how will bind the data with the field catalog? We have two important function modules that SAP has provided us. First one is reuse ALV list display and the second one is reuse ALV grid display. 
So at first I will use reuse Elvin list display. I will simply click on pattern button. I will provide here reuse ALV list disk. I will open and comment this exporting section. Just the we have a parameter IT field get now. IT field get. I will pass my field get internal table here. LT fields get. And in this table section, I will pass my internal table which has the written select queries which consists the main data. Now I simply click on activate button and I will click on execute button. I will pass the entry from 1 to 20 and I will click on execute button. You see, we have the five columns here which consist of 20 rows and for each column you can see we have a dedicated section, dedicated name for each column and our what uh, I will say, our field catalog has divided this particular in a proper format so that it is become easier to understand. You can see I can simply click on these buttons which are at the above and perform what uh, various kind of logic that I want. So this is my first way to create a LV report using list display. In list display you will simply see the data in form of a list and you cannot perform more action. But again we have a reuse LV grid display in this function module you will see data in form of a grid and it Compared to list display, this function module offers greater layout and navigation freedom by displaying the output in grid format. So uh, now I will show you how to use this particular function module for our ALV. I will simply go there and I will remove this section of code. I will click on pattern. I will paste the reuse ALV grid display and click on the enter. Now and comment the exporting again we see we have it field cat i will provide the field catalog here ld underscore field cat and i will provide my internal table here ld underscore vba for the best programming practices always do not forget to uncomment the exceptions and click on activate button exceptions are very crucial so we always need to uncomment the exception so that it if any runtime error occur, we can know its reason. Now I will click on execute button. I will give input from 1 to 20. And I will click on execute button. See, this is our basically grid display. And comparing with our list display, it is more flexible and provides us more functionality. Also, it is very attractive in VZ. It is very attractive in Open. Now we have, see, we have a filter button. Suppose you want see this we have some created by data and i want that only data which has the created by name s419 sl15 should be present on the screen and rest of data should not be present on this screen so what i will do i will provide a filter condition i will click on take created by and then define values okay s419 sl15 click on created by Define values here S419 SL15. Click on OK button. Now see, only those data were created by that is our ER num is S419 SL15 is present on the screen and the rest of the data has become invisible. So this is how you can write out your ALV reports using reuse ALV grid display and reuse ALV in list display. So this is all about our ALV report. Thank you very much.